So, here we are. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute since uh, we last played Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. I think it's been even longer than the last time we played Payback in 2015. And bear in mind, that was like those games 2022, you know? Uh, I don't think we've played Hot Pursuit since 2021, um, the year we beat the game. I remember when this came out, man. Um, so, Hot Pursuit Remastered, it came as a surprise. It, there were rumors months prior, um, not too long after Need for Speed Heat had its final update. So, you got to bear in mind that we were like hot off of uh, the scathing burn, basically, of Heat. An amazing game. The best Need for Speed since, like, Carbon, since Pro Street, Most Wanted, whatever. And it got cancelled. Like, there was no... No more than one major update, two if you count crossplay, uh, and we were all just really burnt by it. And this got announced, Top Pursuit Remastered, and a lot of us felt like we'd taken a step back. You know, um, a lot of us thought to have Need for Speed 2015 um, be a thing. You know, Heat wouldn't exist if not for that. I say a lot of us. I wasn't in the Need for Speed community at the time. Rivals really didn't. I did not like Rivals. I actually stopped playing Need for Speed until 2018. But a lot of the Need for Speed community fought for those games for 2015, for Heat. And to immediately go back to the game that started... Um, well, didn't quite start, you know, the identity crisis that Need for Speed had at the time. But this was like one that almost completely shut out the underground fans you know even when shift was a thing we still had like body kits and actual customization and at least a livery editor hot pursuit had none of that you know um obviously in this remaster we have a livery editor and you could actually have a full color wheel we didn't have it here um and yeah a lot of us didn't like the idea that this was the one that was getting remastered you know uh, even me personally i think one of the older hot pursuits would have been called cool. like hot pursuit 2 that game i've seen some of the awesome tracks that are on that one that would have been great to bring back and then of course you've got the underground games most wanted carbon pro street they could have remastered any of those and instead they decided to go with hot pursuit and i guess that's because it was easy they still had hold of the engine i'm pretty sure this game used the same engine that burnout paradise did and so they got the same developers stellar entertainment to do that and um i did hold out a little hope because most wanted 2012 was one of my favorite games ever uh, it's definitely one of my favorite need for speeds i was really hoping they would re be remastering that um, but, of course, Unbound ended up happening, and Stellar Entertainment, funnily enough, are actually working on a new AAA game for EA, Racing Related. Now, it could be that Most Wanted 2012 remaster, but more signs are pointing to a Burnout reboot, which would be insane, you know? Obviously, we already have, like, Dangerous Driving, for example, but that was more like just a nostalgia game like a full a full-blown reboot of burnout could be really really cool and black panther said it himself it would be really cool to have burnout one year need for speed the next it would be really cool and just think about what burnout could do um you know with a new game you know it could be like burnout paradise we could get like a free roam burnout game or we could get um one that harkens back to you know burnout one two and three i remember playing burnout three takedown etc etc but all that discussion started um mainly because of this game you know we thought burnout paradise was like a one-off thing um and then this comes out um and by the way this had the weirdest trailer ever by the way uh, we're gonna hop into the career mode though um without further ado because uh yeah i want to try some of these events and um wow so this map wow jesus uh, I think I have, like, gold in every event. I'm not too sure about that. Um, but I'm pretty sure I do. I'm 99% sure there's no event in this game that I don't have gold in anymore. I think I've literally done everything you could possibly do in this game. It's crazy. Um, so we're actually going to hop into Roadsters Reborn. This is the race that everybody does first in Hot Pursuit, and it's only right that we do the same. 
Um, although, I should actually quit back to the main menu first, because we need to turn off the music. I, I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, so, yeah, let's go to the audio settings. And I've got it turned down to 20, which is insane. But uh, for some reason, uh, the Hot Pursuit reboot game, so Hot Pursuit and uh, Rivals, those games are so loud for some reason. I have the Rivals volume turned down to 30, and I have this one turned down even lower, down to 20, which is just absolutely insane but um yeah let's hop into roasters reborn then we'll do a police event and then we'll hop online to see if anybody is still playing the game so we could hop into ah oh, i wanted to use the rx8 damn it okay so we could use a 370z roadster which funnily enough oh, so it can only be roadsters okay so we could use the z4 as well hmm well, I don't want to use a 370Z because that's in the newer games. So we could go with the Z4 or we could go with the Boxster Spider. And I just, I've always loved the Porsche Boxster Spider. I'm going to be quite honest. I don't care what anybody says. I absolutely love this thing. So, uh, yeah, we do have a livery. Wait, I actually already have a livery on this. Oh. Oh, I've just put, like, the Need for Speed logo on it. I miss this logo, man. I actually quite loved it. Okay, um, we'll discard it, but I'm going to use um, that wrap, I think. Oh, yeah, we got these custom wraps as well that were made by Stellar Entertainment. I think they did a good job on the remaster, to be honest. Uh, it's definitely an upgrade over, you know, the original game. I don't care what anybody says, okay? I know some DLC cars were not in it, but um, can you even get hold of those DLC cars now? I don't know. But then again, you can mod the original to make it look as good or better than this. I don't know. Leave your um, thoughts about that in the comment below. Do you prefer the original game uh, or do you prefer the remaster? Here we go then. Oh, we're going to skip this. Here we go. So I've not played this game in about three years. Here we go. Let's do it. And man, this game looks good. So I'm on the PlayStation 5 now, so I don't know if it looks any better. Because obviously I was I was on the PS4 Pro before, so I've not had to change any graphical settings. And trust me, I did check before recording. But man, look at this. It does look really good. But it definitely looks rooted in the time as well. Yeah, I think they did a good job with the graphics. For sure. Get out of my way, asshole. <laughs> I really hope I didn't just get demonetized for that. Uh, whatever. I, I say that. I'm not worried about demonetized in terms of losing money. I'm worried about, you know, not getting on the recommended or whatever. But, you know, I don't even care. <laughs> whatever. Here we go then. So, this game has some... Pretty decent rubber banding, to be fair. The AI will always stick with you. Look at that view, man. That is awesome. Honestly. Um, Seacrest County heavily does remind me of Ridge Racer in a lot of ways. Like, if you've played Ridge Racer, you'll know what I mean. The, the world looks very similar. Like, I genu if Ridge Racer was going to get a new game, I would imagine the world to look like this, you know? Very sunny, by the sea. It's a lovely, lovely map. And it's fully free roam as well. Like, the main game isn't free roam, but you do have free drive and you can, like, explore the whole map, which I always did appreciate. It was a big shame, though, that um, we never did get an update that had online free drive. Can you imagine that? They could have done that. It can't have been that difficult, surely, right? You know? It would have been really cool to have the online free drive. Like, it would have been boring very quickly, I'm pretty sure. Like, you wouldn't be able to do any races or whatever, but... You know. Who knows? It, I feel like it could have been done. Like, you know, just, just a normal Tacton free drive. Online free drive. I think it would have been really nice. But, oh well. We're not getting any more updates for this now. I really want to know more about what Stellar is working on. Because it's going to be their first proper game, I'm pretty sure. I think they've only ever worked with remasters before. So, I wonder what exactly they're doing there. Are they working with, like, an older game engine? Like, are they working with this engine that did Burnout Paradise and Hot Pursuit? Or are they working with the Chameleon engine that did Most Wanted 2012? Who knows? 
who knows? But I am quite curious to see what it could be like. But these games are pretty linear. Well, Paradise isn't, but Hot Pursuit is. Um, so I feel like if it's, if it's going to be a linear game, I genuinely feel like they'll do a good job. And yeah, I think it's something I'll pre-order. For sure. I mean, depends what they're doing. If it's a Burnout reboot, of course I'm going to pre-order it. But it would be cool if it was Need for Speed related. You know, a little Most Wanted 2012 remaster. I desperately want that, <laughs> to be quite honest. But, I mean, I only want it to really do YouTube content on it because, you know, in real life... Uh, well, not I say real life, but outside of YouTube, I've got those sort of 2012 already on the PS Vita. I've just beaten my personal best in one go. That's crazy. I can't believe I just did that. But there you go. There you have it. <laughs> Jeez. That's cool, though. I beat my personal best. So I must have, like, crashed into stuff a lot more before. But, yeah, I'll take that. But we're max level now. And the funny thing is, you can actually go above max level. You could get to level 21 in this game. Like, I've seen some level 21s online. It's insane. I wonder if you can actually go over level 21, though. Like, imagine if we see s some people who are well over that. Like, they've just stayed playing this game for years. That would be insane. That would be absolutely insane. But we need to do... Um... A hot pursuit, I think. I only want to do... Oh. Hey, what's up with the Wi-Fi? <laughs> Why does it kick me out, then? Okay, that was weird. It's already disconnected earlier today, but I thought something was wrong. Okay, we could go with Dark Horse. We've got the Traffic Police Unit. We're obviously going to use faster cars in the multiplayer, because no one really uses slower ones. The Police Interceptor Concept, that's one of the only cars that's, like, exclusive to the cops. So I feel like we might use that, even though I do want to use an RX-8. Ah, oh, we've got the Porsche 911 as well, you can't go wrong with that. What a legendary car, you know? Everybody uses it in the newer Need for Speeds. I just bought it in Cyberpunk. So, so cool. Uh, so I'm not going to use that car. We could use the Crown Vic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's wrong with the Crown Vic? Let's go with it. It's classic, isn't it? It's absolutely classic. Why wouldn't I use that? So, yeah, let's do it. Um, I don't know what my record is. It's not really telling me. But I have available re weapons as a spike strip and a roadblock. Uh, and I wonder what the online is going to be like. Online multiplayer definitely had some cool modes. But it was definitely a bit ro uh, rage-inducing as well. Um, I definitely rage quitted Hot Pursuit Online quite often. But here we go. It's a shame we can't play the music right now because Hot Pursuit does have exclusive music um, to the police events. I really wish we could just turn off copyrighted music and then still have the rest of the soundtrack. But I'm sure I can find something to supplement it in, in Share Factory. Who knows? Let's go. Oh, Jesus. Definitely hard to control. Sometimes. But we're causing a lot of damage to them, that's for sure. He's out! Woo! Let's slow down like these guys pass. Whoa! I can hear the RX-8 behind me. The vehicle sound for the RX-8 is a bit weird, that's for sure. Why am I not causing much damage to that dude? He's out. See you later. Alright, let me break. Why am I not causing much damage to this guy? Why are you so slow? Stop slowing down. That's what a lot of people did online. They'd like slow down a lot. So you, they couldn't, you couldn't cause much damage to them. It was so rage inducing. But there you go. See you later. And now we chase after this last dude. I won't even need to use any pursuit tech, funnily enough. But this is, like, you could immediately tell. It's so much easier to get back into this game than it was uh, to get into... To get back into payback. I really struggled with Need for Speed payback when we went back to that. But Hot Pursuit, it's really easy. 
It's one of those things that's easy to get into and then difficult to master. Oh, he's dead! But you can't do that! What the hell, man? Get that roadblock out. You want to do that? Alright, let's get him. We get nitrous from oncoming. No, we don't, obviously. Has he gone right for you? Yeah. Come on! God, I absolutely love the effects of the 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 police lights. Really, really takes precedent on the screen. Just flashing everywhere. They're not like that on any other Need for Speed games. I don't know. The atmosphere really helps Hot Pursuit 2010, to be quite honest. Oh, there you go. Okay, so um, with that, with that being finished, I think it's about time we get into online. All right, online multiplayer, hot pursuit online. Let's do it. Let's see if we can. Oh, look at that Reventon! I forgot about this car. I absolutely adored this car in Need for Speed Shift. Like it was one of. I remember like grinding to get it in that game. And so, seeing it now just immediately reminds me of that time when I was a kid playing Shift. When I actually liked the game, I remember getting it for one of my birthdays and playing that game. I, I dislike the game now, I've tried going back to it and it's just like, no. <laughs> I hated it. Absolutely hated it, but... Yeah, I did have a lot of good time in it. Oh, people are still playing, that's dope. We got a lot of max levels here, but yeah. Almost full lobbies. Look at that. And it certainly does help that the, that that it's crossplay for sure. But yeah, this is cool. So Hot Pursuit's still alive uh, and um, clearly thriving. There's some lower levels here, like a level three. Like so, people are still buying the game, I suppose. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's do it then. Hot Pursuit Exotic Series Auto Balancing Teams. What have we got? 3v3, 3 cops, we're one of the cops. Cool, cool. So this is the exotic series. Um, I always want to go with this one, usually, the ZR1, because it's, it's the sheriff's car. I'm probably going to go with the Reventon, though. There's a lot, though. Definitely got to go with the Zonda at least once today, because it's one of the cover cars, along with the Reventon, of course. But we're going to go with the Reventon. Bring this back! Bring this back to Need for Speed, man. There are some cars in this game. Yeah, speaking of some cars in this game that should be back. That Aston Martin. Oh my god. It's my favorite car ever. Literally. Why is that not back in Need for Speed? You, you bring the RX-8 back, but not the goddamn V8, V12 Vantage. Bro, I love that car. I love this car so much. Maybe I gotta use that today. I don't know. <laughs> um, I think I'll have some alone time with the game free drive for a little bit. Um, or maybe we'll have that in this episode and we'll drive the Aston. I don't know. Is the event starting or what? Are we, are we playing? Okay, there we go. Really scary for a second then. <sighs> Here we go. Oh, the way the flaps lift up as well when you're going fast enough. Look at that. That wasn't much damage, was it? Busted? Hello? There we go. That was weird. Do I have to physically be touching that car? I don't know, but I've made my first bust. He made that very easy. Oh my god, look at the in-game car models. Oh god, uh, the in-game, like... Like, character models. Ugh. Alright, uh, yeah, we'll send out a roadblock. Oh shit. Whoa, the lag. EMP? 
Get in! Yeah! Jeez! This guy's lagging everywhere. All units, local EMPs are authorized for use. Jesus. The health bars are definitely higher compared to the AI races for sure. I would have got him ages ago. Whoa! I should have known he'd try and do that. Let's get him with another EMP. Got him! That's two! Let's go! Suspect's vehicle has sustained heavy damage. Right, there's one last dude. Come on, the other two cops are going after that guy. How have you not caught him yet? I know, but it's time for the rubber banding to take effect. As we look to catch up. Jeez, a bit hard to drive, isn't it? Sometimes. Look at the effects of the police lights, man. You don't get that in any other game. That's insane. I love it. This is the ultimate cops versus racer game. I do think Rivals is better though. That's why um, when the when this game like got announced, we were like, oh, but we've got Rivals. What's the point? You know, <laughs> Rivals is essentially the same game, just free roam and with a proper story. You know. So, like, why does this game exist? I don't know, but uh, maybe they wanted something to go on to the Nintendo Switch, and this was, like, a good game to go on there, and, yeah, to be fair, on the Switch. I'm gonna use the jammer. Got him. Oh! Yes! Oh! Jeez. Let's get the heli out. Where is it? There it is! Maybe we can get in front of him. Chop a spike. Let's go! All three busts from me. We love to see it. Yeah! Woohoo! Let's go! I'm glad I got that on camera because not most of my not most of my hot pursuit games go that dominant for me, but there you go. That was awesome. Three busts. I got all three of them. That's awesome. Shame we're not seeing ever, uh, any level 21s though, that's for sure. All right, will anybody be joining this lobby? Because I feel like staying in this one. Next event, charge attack. <laughs> okay. I guess we could leave and, you know, do another one. Um, as in, like, we could leave and join another server, but nah, nah. I don't feel the need to do that. It is good to be back in this game though, like good to revisit it, I'm actually having fun. I'm glad they don't make Need for Speeds like this anymore, but I'm also glad they've remastered it. So people who did like this style of Need for Speed, they have this now, that's for sure. It is genuinely a great game, and it does represent, um, you know, part of the Need for Speed identity, but I feel like... Um, you know, the newer games represent it a lot more. Like, that Most most Wanted was essentially um, Hot Pursuit meets Underground, you know? And that's what Need for Speed is. That's what it is. It's, mo it's the Hot Pursuit style meets Underground, you know? And that's why games like Most Wanted, Carbon, Undercover, 2015, and Heat, hell, maybe even Payback, you know? That is, those are Need for Speed. That's what Need for Speed should be. Alright, we're going to use the NFS edition Zonda Sync. Why wouldn't I? Orange Pearl, let's go. 
We're one of the racers. I feel like we could win this one after what happened uh, in that last event. But, man, this is one of the best-sounding cars in the entire franchise. And, man, I do miss the Zonda. Bring it back! I don't care about the Horira. Why is that the only Pagani in the game? Where's the Zonda? Where is the Zonda? Bring it back. I don't care if you don't even need customization on the Zonda. Just leave it as is. You know? Maybe have some spoiler options, I suppose. But I genuinely wouldn't change It's got a spoiler already. I wouldn't change it at all. Bring it back. <laughs> the Zonda's not even in Rivals, is it? I think it's just the Horaira. It's a shame, man. The Zonda's one of the most legendary cars ever, and it's just not in any game virtually. Oh, sounds so good. Why are these guys in Bentleys and 177s? Have they just not unlocked the Zonda? I don't know, but we, we've taken first place. We've had to do a hard break there as we're getting rammed out the way by these fat Bentleys. Oh, right. We really don't have much options here. I missed the ESF from Rivals. Jeez, that was going to happen. I'm going to get busted, aren't I? Because of this stupid system. And that's what made me rage quit Hot Pursuit back in the day. Jesus Christ. The fact you can get busted during a crash cam has got to be the stupidest... Stupidest thing ever, that's for sure. Um, but at least we, we had some experience with the Zonda, I suppose. Um, so yeah, let, let's go into let's go into free drive, race a free drive. Oh, actually, I want to go near the near the sea, that's for sure. Put me near the sea. Um, I guess this would be near the sea. If we're going to race a free drive, where Roads the Re uh, Roads does Reborn was. It wasn't sport. I'm pretty sure it's super, right? DBS Volante. Wow. And there it is. The lovely V12 Vantage. Wait, I think they have the V8 Vantage as well. I genuinely... Don't they have both cars? I don't know. Correct me if... I, well, the game's about to correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, no. Oh, the old Cayman S. Oh, my God. That was cool. Oh, they had so many Gallardos in this game as well, or Gallardos. The, the Spider that ended up being in Most Wanted 2012. But the Super Ligueras here. Where is it? Yeah, the Valentino Balboni. Oh, God. That was the car I used quite a lot. I've driven 116.6 miles in that car. <laughs> Jesus. Crazy. I've only driven 48. In the Vantage, that's crazy. Okay, so... Is this a glitch? Okay, we could go with the red. That's my memory. I do love these, um... You know, the descriptions of the cars, but I don't need to sit through them anymore. Not at all. But yeah, I usually went with the red because... Uh, the red has some of my favourite memories from Most Wanted 2012 Online. With this particular car. But man, look at it. Look how smooth it is as well. You know, there's no way I could go back to playing the actual Hot Pursuit 2010 when this one exists. And it's in 60 FPS. And the graphics are like this. It looks so good, man. I think they did a good job on the remaster. But no one really wanted it, to be honest. <laughs> Let's be real. No one wanted it. But I'm glad it does exist, you know? It, it's there for people who want it. And so people don't have to go on their old consoles and stuff, you know? But it would have been nice if Most Wanted 2012 was a thing as well. But I guess Burnout Paradise is pretty close to that as well. Most Wanted 2012 was essentially uh, Burnout Paradise 2. People have called it Burnout Fairhaven. It was a good game, you know? And if we do get a Burnout reboot, I do hope it's like that. But man, these views, man. Lovely, lovely views. I want to get over to that dam area so we can get a nice view of the ocean. There's a plane over there, I don't know if you can see that. Look at it. 
Wow. It's just little things like that. You can hear it. That's so cool. It's just little things like that. They don't have that in the newer games. And I mean, listen to it. You can even hear the fucking wind. Whoa, that is so dope. That is genuinely so cool. And there's nothing more. Oh, we can go down there. Hold on. Let me spin this round. It's just so cool, man. I think you have those in Rivals as well, like little things like that. I don't, I don't remember any planes, but I do remember, you know, just other little things like that that made the world feel actually lived in. The fact you can hear the wind as well from being so high up. You can hear the seagulls as well. It's just so alive, honestly. It's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. So, yeah, that was Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered in 2024. Um, I don't want to replay through it. I genuinely think this was one of the Need for Speeds that had too many events. And I think they added, like, 30-plus more events uh, that are exclusive to, like, the remaster. Um, so, yeah, but it was nice to revisit the game. Um, and we'll come back to it most likely next year, unless this video does... Um, you know, exclusively well, then I think we'll come back to it later on this year for a second video, like I'll probably do Arrivals. Payback didn't do so well at all. Uh, it's, it's only got like 20 to 30 views, so feel free to check that out. Um, but yeah, Rivals, that video has over 500, 600, so we'll definitely be coming to that later on this year. But next up in our revisiting of Need for Speed will be the reboot, Need for Speed 2015. And that one's going to be a bit more special. You know, we're going to have the one-off video like this one, of course. But we're also going to have uh, a full-blown Let's Play playthrough of the game. It's going to be really cool. But guys, just watching. Hit the like button as hard as you possibly can. Comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time. Peace.